Well, tension in the air here. It's got all the ingredients, hasn't it? And it's our main feature today on EA TV. Join us soon. Welcome, everybody. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. Nice to have you along for the ride. Game for you today, Sporting Hikon, and they play Real Madrid. Well, this is how the... And he could get away here. Needs to stay cool now. Well, what a start to the game that would have been for them, Alan. The first goal coming so early, but not quite. But well, he's kicking himself. He can't believe he's missed from so close in two. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. To put them in front. Goalkeeper hangs on. Well, and what about this Real Madrid side? It's the latest addition. And they've got uh, bags of goals in the side already. Well, they play such an open, expansive game. It does leave them vulnerable at times, but... Going to tie his lock! Just a flick on with the header. They've kept possession. He's got his shot off now. Well, he's put it away brilliantly. That kind of chance, it's come to him so early in the game. But I have to say, he reacted perfectly. Really sharp right from the off, and they've taken the lead here. Real Madrid, as expected, have their noses in front. Attacking well here. Strong challenge. Rafael Varad. This could be a chance. Now Bailey. Here's a chance to attack. Stopped him emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Found the force in that last attack. Somewhat a surprise to us all, really. Threads it through. Brilliant pass, can he finish it? Oh, they could have increased their advantage then. Yeah, I think that would have been game over. It should have been really from that distance. Moving forward with some danger. Good score! It's in! Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. In truth, Alan, this is what we expected. The dominant side, and they're showing that on the scoreline. Yeah, we don't always get what we expect, but uh, they've been good value here. They've played well, particularly the strikers. We well, could be in. And it's a shot now. Well, that could be an important moment. That would have got them right back in the match. Well, they haven't had too many chances, and uh, I think that miss could cost them in this game. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. Got to keep his nerve here. That's how to tackle. Tibala. Leroy Sane, good challenge here. To throw in for Real Madrid. Hernandez. Very good distance to the clearance. Castro. Good forward play from them. Now, here is a chance for... Oh, they've got out of jail there. I think uh, any football fan will say when the rain comes down like it's coming down now, it's going to add to the thrills, a few spills possibly. Well, it normally does, doesn't it? And I always used to like it because uh, it quite often meant you got a few more chances in the box with the uh, bounce of the ball and what have you. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Crisp defending there. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Real 
Madrid. Penalised by the referee. Crowd uh, may be expected a bit more, but it's two added minutes. Leroy Sane steered through. Dybala has come off the goalkeeper, still in play. And there goes the whistle. Going to be treacherous conditions because the rain is still coming down and the pitch wetter and wetter. They've gone and won it, Real Madrid. Castro. Nice bit of interplay between these two. Could pull one back here. Couldn't quite keep his composure there on this slippery surface. Yeah, not easy. The ball skidding up very quickly towards him. Real Madrid looking good with this attack. It could be a chance. Wonderful goal. Well, he's only been on the pitch a matter of minutes. I'm not sure he's touched the ball before this, but a vital touch there to score. For Real Madrid, they're just emphasising their superiority and widening the margin. Yeah, I think so. And you look at their overall play and they've deserved it. One team really on their game today. The other very off colour. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. There's good progress with this attack. Real opening now. And it's in the net for the goal. Well, he's not far out, but you've got to be on your toes in these circumstances. And he was. Well, there is a big difference between these two teams, and that goal has meant it's reflected in the scoreline. I think uh, it's going to be a stroll from here on in because they've got a big cushion, rightly so, well in the lead. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Real Madrid given the throw here. Well, that's what substitutes the four to be used. And we've got one coming on now. Never quite as simple as you think to throw the ball to one of your teammates. Well, they're in a good position here. And shoots! Beautiful goal! It's the substitute who scored, and it's a terrific effort by him and by the manager who sent him on. Hot in mouth there, he might have thought that was going to hit the bar, but now he's just crept under. Unstoppable. What a strike! On the volley. Well, there's no finer sight in football than to see somebody catch the ball flush like that. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. De La Rosa. Tibala. Could be dangerous. He's got his shot off now. He's had a real go. It's a decent effort, that, with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did visit, didn't he? Castro. It's looking good, this move. Bamba. Well, the home team has been outplayed. And the home supporters have lost their will to support, I think. Well, haven't they just? You could hear a pin drop here. Seen one or two heading for the exits. They're not impressed. Steered through. Brilliant. Must score. And he's put it away beautifully. 
Well, good finish, no doubt, Martin, but what about the play before that? What about the passing? Wonderful team effort. Well, they all count the same, but he won't ever get an easier one. No, I don't think so. But uh, he was there, right place, right time. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Sometimes being a favourite in a match can weigh heavily, expectation and all that. It's not a problem for this team, is it? No, I think their manager will be delighted because they've... Sane, here's a chance, goalkeeper exposed. And they blocked it then. Good forward play from them. Got the opposition back. Space for the shot. Super goalkeeping. It's going to make a change, and it's clearly a tactical one. There doesn't seem to be any injury involved. Dybala with the corner. Oh, just too high. Yeah, couldn't quite get over the ball, but decent effort. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Space to try and hit it now. That's a very good goal. You have to say that's great accuracy of the strike, because the way he's hit that just under the bar, the keeper had no chance. No slacking in these late minutes here and the chance to extend their lead and they have uh, voraciously gobbled up the chance well they played some really good football out there today and that was another example of it there's no doubt that the scoreline reflects realistically the nature of the game there's nothing false about it they've thoroughly deserved to be so far ahead excellent work with the tackle really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some it's not a cross that's cause the defence any problems and certainly not the goalkeeper well there's still chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes he's very confident with the ball at his feet this might be it whoa that's flown over the bar Wow, the crowd were up on their feet there that was a spectacular effort it is going to be a change here and that's the just a flick on with the header they've kept La Liga. Athletic Bilbao 1, Girona 1. Barcelona 4, Ibar 1. Sporting Hyon 0, Real Madrid 7. Celta de Vigo 0, Atletico Madrid 2. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Real Madrid with 18 points. In second, Atletico Madrid with 8 points. In third, Villarreal with 13 points. In fourth, Sevilla with 12 points. In fifth, Ibar with 11 points. In sixth, Celta Vigo with 10 points. In seventh, Deportivo Alves with 10 points. In eighth, Valencia with 8 points. Bottom of the table, Levante with 2 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Real Sociedad with 4 points. Third bottom, Las Palmas with four points. Fourth bottom, Granada with five points. Fifth bottom, Athletic Bilbao with five points.
Yes, I enjoyed match day one and the action there, Alan, that we were privileged to see. And here we go in the Champions Cup, match day two, this game's underway. Yeah, we saw some teams that uh, didn't do themselves justice, but uh, these two sides, with the experience, I think they... Letting the shot go! Well, sometimes these opportunities can come too early, and maybe this is one of them. Yeah, maybe just caught cold there, wasn't expecting the chance to land at his feet and made a mess of it. Schmidt was well, good progress with this attack. That's a wonderful tackle. He's one I know Alan's keeping an eye on here. Two in his previous match. A clear danger man for the opposition. It's a good place to win the ball here. Well, that looked a decent chance to attack until the player managed to read the pass. Real Madrid looking good here. Sane went for placement here and not far away, but he'll be frustrated. Well, when you're that far out, I think if you just get some power behind it, the keeper will have little chance, but he chose the other option. Quick header, found a teammate. And shoots right from the kickoff. They look like scoring they have now. Sharp from the off, and what a good goal. And that is a contender for goal of the season, without question, to find the left corner from that distance. Real Madrid, as expected, have their noses in front. Played back. Schmidt. The ball in the middle of the pitch here. And that's dealt with the problem. Real Madrid given the throw here. It's an excellent cross. Now well, that's good defending. The shot's on! And the goalkeeper very much on his game to... Corner for Real Madrid. That's a foul, free kick. Good forward play from... Good support as they build this attack. It's a defender on top of his game here, and certainly on top of the opposition then. This turnover could be costly against the Sun. Guiding it through the defenders. He's through here. Sane. Here's the chance. Oh, it's the outside of the post and away. He made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. On to the attack now. Throw in for Real Madrid. Dybala. It's a dynamic run, this. Shots on here. Off the post. Out of harm's way, out for a throw. Supporting player alongside. Clever feet there to go inside his man. Real Madrid given the throw here. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. It's on the move all of these interceptions. And it's R ah, influencing the match on the score as much as you might. I think the opposition have done a good job on them to this point, and they're going to keep us interested, certainly in the second half, if it stays this way. Dybala. Referee's decision is a corner for Real Madrid. Corner played in. Oh, they could have increased their advantage then. Yeah, I think that would have been game over. It should have been really from that distance. Dybala. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Here's a chance for Real Madrid. And it's a shot now! Well, they've all gone to the defender to say, well done. But I think the guy who had the chance really should have scored. Well, he had the chance to uh, get his shot away. 
Even though he had to take it quickly, should have done better. So it's 1-0. And the kickoff for the second half of their second game in the Champions Cup group stage. Well, I enjoyed the first half, and uh, I don't think it'll be too much different in the second. And finishing off! Oh, he was away. Alany was clear. Well, it looked like the perfect counter attack. The whole defence had been beaten, but, well, the keeper wasn't. Schmidt. Here's a chance to attack. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Good reading of the play by the defender. Can pull it back here to set up a chance. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well, He's, and he could get away here. Surely, got to be. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. <laughs> Dybala. Saw the goal and went for it. Front now. Well, keep the concentration, and they've won this match, I think. Restarting at 2-0. They're looking dangerous when they get the ball out into the wide areas, Real Madrid. Must score! It's in, in off the post. Talk about precision. One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. Schmidt. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. And here come Real Madrid. And it's going to be a, a throw here. Hernandez. I think he saw the look from the other player. And where the pass was going and read it. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Neatly intercepted. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter-attack. Trying to slip it through. It has to score! Keeper couldn't get down quickly enough to deal with such a low and effective shot. I think a manager loves that kind of goal because it was a real team effort the way they moved the ball about. And once it came to the finish, it was an unerring effort. Right on the spot to score. That's not the hardest goal he's ever scored, but he was in the right place. Real Madrid have the ball. And this is what you expect from Real Madrid. That's a fine challenge, and he's got the ball. Schmidt, piece of interplay between the two, able to cut that out, take them on. And this is going to be a throw, Institution coming up, another throw. Good consistent display by Real Madrid in this match. Not total control, the opposition have given them a few worrying moments, but it's going to be a triumph for Real. Got on the ball in midfield, well read by the player in that part of the pitch. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. A real chance here, and he's done it! Well, the substitute has made his mark on the go. Well, he's point-blank range, but you've got to be there to score. You've got to be there to miss it as well, but he didn't. 
Well, the game petering out a little bit now, with both sides settling for what's on the scoreline. This is how they love to play on the break. Can he do it? Oh, that's such a classy goal. He's having a little chuckle because all his teammates know he's injured, but still, he was able to pop up and get the goal. No slacking in these late minutes here, and the chance to extend their lead, and they have uh, voraciously gobbled up the chance. Well, they've played some really good football out there today, and that was another example of it. Attacking now. We could be in. Guided through. He's in the clear. Good defending. Christian Pulisic. Oh, he's through. Looks the goalkeeper in the eye. The shot's up. And it's in via the post. Well, it swerved a bit at the end. It might have been going wide initially, but it's hit the inside of the post into the back of the net. Yeah, and when you do hit them with that kind of accuracy, there's just no chance for the goalkeeper, no chance at all. And the referee has ended... Champions Cup, Borussia Dortmund 1, AC Milan 0, Celtic 0, Manchester United 2, Galatasaray 1, Atletico Madrid 2, Napoli 4, PSV 1, Wolfsburg 1, Olympique de Marseille 0. La Liga, Atletico Madrid 1, Granada 1, Girona 2, Valencia 0, Levante 1, Celta Vigo 1, Espanyol 2, Sevilla 1, Real Madrid 3, Tarragona 0, Real Sociedad 0, Barcelona 2, Ibar 1, Deportivo Alaves 1, Villa Real 2, Las Palmas 2. Let's have a look at what those results mean for tonight's league tables. At the top of the table remain Real Madrid with 21 points. In second, Atletico Madrid with 19 points. In third, Villa Real with 14 points. In fourth, Sevilla with 12 points. In fifth, Ibar with 12 points. In sixth, Celta Vigo with 11 points. In 7th, Deportivo Alves with 11 points. In 8th, climbing the table are Barcelona with 10 points. Bottom of the table, Levante with 3 points. And then reading up the table, 2nd bottom, Real Sociedad with 4 points. 3rd bottom, Las Palmas with 5 points. 4th bottom, Granada with 6 points. 5th bottom and falling are Tarragona with 6 points.
our main feature today on EA TV. Two great clubs. It's coming up for you live. First half started by Real Madrid. This is the severe lineup for this game. He looks as though the manager has set. Got to be. Good save. Real Madrid win a corner. Corner played into the middle. Headed it well. Just wide. Well, not far wide at all. Next time, maybe he'll bury that. Correa. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Luis Muriel. He's in here. Strong, powerful clearance. More than a club, Barcelona. Well, I'm not sure that that uh, applies at the moment. They're just an ordinary club uh, compared to their previous standards. Well, saw the goal and went for it. Shots on here. And he's saved it. And it's a corner. Corner played in. There's still danger here. After Goes for it with a fist. Very hard for the defending team to do anything with the ball in these circumstances. That's good support play from his teammates. Dybala. He can put them in front. It's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Putting on the squeeze again and forcing an error, really a wasteful clearance. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. He's been forced just to knock the ball forward by the press. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. That's a free kick for Sevilla. They're looking dangerous when they get the ball out into the wide areas, Real Madrid. Must score! Dybala, that's a good block. Here they are, shreds it through. Had to be very quick, the keeper there, to get the ball. Luis Muriel. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Correa. Beaten his man. And that goalkeeper can just saunter out and pick that up. Go into their stride right today. Cut out the pass. Now to fear getting the advantage. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Correa. And the verdict on added time is two minutes. Made the challenge well. Pulisic. Really strong play in the tackle. So it's half time. We're going to find out just how good the drainage is here in the second half. 
been pouring again through half time and it's still coming down in stair rods really as the second half gets underway Pulisic trying to switch on the space for the shot well it looked a bad miss but I think the defender just put him off yeah he's got to take a lot of credit for that because uh, he had to take the shot quickly the lad who was trying to score Correa Real Madrid looking good here to take the lead it's a goal well how long's it been on one or two minutes I'm not sure but he's marked his appearance here with a wonderful goal it is certainly the kind of match that we thought we were coming here to see with the better team playing the better football yeah and they've handled that expectation haven't they in terms of being strong favorites so fair play to them for that he's coming forward with some danger going for goal and that is quite a wild effort at goal although we've got good contact on the ball Sports very proud to present this uh, La Liga fixture. Sevilla will be facing Hetafe away from home. Dybala, two in front now. Well, keep the concentration and they've won this match, I think. It's another brilliant attack. It's another brilliant goal so soon after the last one. Well, just like the first, it was so well crafted and that's clinical finishing. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. They're getting the forward well, Sevilla. get back in the game out in front well that's a goal with class written all over it it looks wonderful when it comes off not quite so when it doesn't well they can't wait to get the ball back out of the net and get the game going again because they're closing in well much different atmosphere in this stadium now and it's difficult to call good vision here played in the clear put into the middle For Real Madrid, their next game, Alan. They're playing Napoli in their next match in the Champions Cup, and, and I can only see one winner. I think they'll coast through. Into the attacking third. The throw in for Real Madrid. Sevilla ready to get a substitute on. Dybala, and now the shot, that's hit the bar and it's still in play, gonna try his luck. One in front, they would be a lot more comfortable if they were two in front, and they really could have been. Yeah, might they look back on that with a bit of regret, because that was a great chance to extend the lead, wasn't it? Severe. Well, the manager on the sidelines has made his intentions clear. He's waving quite a few defenders forward. Just going to get that ball into the box, whichever way is possible. They've lost the ball, and the counter-attack could be there. This could be it. And in the shot, go! Oh, what a fine goal! They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable, and they're good value for this advantage at the moment. And here he was, faced by the goalkeeper. That was the challenge. In you go. Easy as you like. It looks easy, doesn't it? But I can tell you it's not. You have to be at the top of your game to try it and to convert. Surely! Sevilla playing on, and the referee has done well in that situation. Well, let's have another look at that, because it was a very, very tight call. They were in otherwise. Well, when I saw it, first time of asking, I thought he was on, you know, but looking at the replay, what a good decision from the linesman that was. Could pull one back here. What the hell? Well, that goal puts them on the comeback trail, possibly. Deficit cut to just one goal now, and they'll be hoping to use the time profitably. You never know, maybe turn this around totally. What's the word on the goal scorer? You have to get there to get the chance. 
credit him for that. Well, I think the keeper, you know, he's entitled to ask why his defenders didn't react as quickly as the goal scorer. He'd done his bit, he'd made the initial save. Good position, they've worked this attack very well. Into a... Tried his luck! Well, nowhere near, uh, he was a long way out. Yeah, I think that's a waste to try his luck from there. Three minutes from the referee by the fourth official, that's the decision regarding added time. Well, he could be in. Going for goal! What a brilliant goal. And that could just pull them away to make sure of the victory. It's another late goal to emphasise the gulf between the two sides today. Yeah, and it's been that type of match. I think everybody out there, the strikers particularly, want to increase the goal tallies, and they've done it. Plenty of goals for the fans here, 4-2. And it's come to an end. This is the severe lineup. La Liga. Barcelona, one. Villarreal, one. Tarragona, one. Getafe, one. Sporting Hion, one. Ibar, two. Sevilla, two. Real Madrid, four. Las Palmas 2, Girona 1. Now let's see what effect that's had on the league standings. At the top of the table remain Real Madrid with 24 points. In second, Atletico Madrid with 20 points. In third, rising up the table are Ibar with... Champions Cup. Barcelona 2, Borussia Dortmund 0. La Liga, Girona 2, Barcelona. Spanish Cup, Bilbao 4, Huesca 0.